Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called Porsche Soul which wants you to own and drive the 2020 Porsche Taycan Turbo S to complete all of this week's challenges with. So without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car we will be using for this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this is the Taycan Turbo S, this is the welcome pack edition which I'm sure most of you guys have, if you don't you can always pick one up in the auto show. Now I have created a tune for you guys too, it's called S Class, the share code is 4629149940 and hopefully it should help you guys out a bit. Now the first challenge here just wants you to earn 6 stars at speed zones, so as you can see here I've just filtered out my speed zones and the one that I opted to use was the festival speed zone as it's actually one of the easiest to do. Now 3 stars on here is only 110 mile an hour, but it doesn't matter if you don't get 3 stars 2 times in a row, you can do 6 runs of just 1 star, it really doesn't matter, and you don't actually have to use the same speed zone. Now the other thing, I will not judge you if you opt to use the walls, because it does make life a little bit quicker and a little bit easier, and you'll have this challenge done in no time as you saw there. Like I said, I'll just look away if you do that. Now. First challenge, super easy if you do that, but you can use whichever speed zone you want. Now the next challenge here wants you to just go and paint the car's body. Now again, really easy to do. Just go into your sort of customized tab or go back to the auto show, go over to paint car, paint body, and then pick any color. I opted just for one of the manufacturer colors as that's sort of what the challenge was alluding to, but I'm sure you can probably change it to any one you want. Now the final challenge here, again, really easy, just wants you to earn an ultimate drift or e-drift skill. So as soon as I left from repainting the car, went around this bend here and got an ultimate e-drift skill. I opted to use the handbrake and go for an e-drift. You can use the handbrake or don't use it, but either way, it's pretty easy to do. Find a long bend or even this drag strip here, you'll see a couple more ultimate drift skills pop up in a second. Really, really easy car to drift actually, to be honest. Um, and I mean, this week's challenges will literally take you not even five minutes. So it's really easy for us on this week. Um, anyway, if you guys are struggling with anything, of course, please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. If this video did help you out, I'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribing massively helps me out as well. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.